A quick live look at Times Square in New York. So many revelers getting ready to celebrate. And later in Prime, we're going to get a few 2023 New Year's resolutions from our next guest, Niall Stanage. Stick around for that special segment. You are making people want to kill me. It's not just a tabloid. It's not just some story. You are making me scared. And that coming from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's new Netflix docu-series. But as we close out 2022, the royal drama apparently not over. A Politico opinion piece is taking aim at some of 2022's biggest names, labeling them as narcissists. Donald Trump, Elon Musk, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, and also on that list, Meghan Markle. This sparking huge outrage online, many online calling it unnecessary hate and demanding Politico apologize to the Duchess. Joining us now, Niall Stanage from our partners over at The Hill. Niall, why is this op-ed sparking so much controversy? I think because it goes to so many other elements of the controversy around Meghan Markle. One of her main complaints has been that media attention has caused her real distress. I mean, in, in one instance, even suggesting that it was a contributory factor in a miscarriage that she sadly suffered. Now, I don't think, to be clear, that the Politico thing rises to that level, but to put her in with narcissists and then to include her in a list that has people who have been, for example, convicted of fraud, as is the case with Elizabeth Holmes, or face criminal charges, as is the case with Sam Bankman-Fried, that seems uh, pretty harsh and pretty incongruous with reality. I mean, do you think she belongs on that list? I, I don't personally. I mean, I think everyone has personal opinions about Meghan Markle and Harry. I think that she was put into a situation that wasn't really of her own making. I mean, without, you know, getting too romantic about it, I think that she did fall in love, that, that she and Harry fell in love. He's a public figure. She was, of course, previously a public figure because of her acting career. What can they do? They can't become anonymous people. They have to live in the public eye to some extent. And when she and he felt they were treated very unfairly by other members of the British royal family, I think they wanted to get their message across. Do you think the documentary achieved the objective that Meghan and Prince Harry were hoping for? Well, it certainly achieved the ratings that Netflix was hoping for. As I understand it, it's the most viewed documentary in Netflix history. And I, I know that a lot of people have criticized the documentary. It hasn't won great reviews. The episodes that I've seen, I have no particular uh, objection to. I mean, I think they come across as a couple who, of course, are in a privileged position, but are also trying to deal with very unusual pressures. And to the point that we were just talking about, it clearly does get their point of view across. And Niall, we saw Prince Harry and Meghan do the big interview with Oprah. Then they had the big docuseries. Next is going to be Prince Harry's book, Spare, set to come out just over a week now. And it supposedly has even more big revelations. What could be left that could upset the institution that is the royal family, the monarchy? In short, I think the most dangerous thing for the monarchy is the suggestion that their hostility or opposition or suspicion of Meghan Markle was racist or was based upon race. Now, it seems like Harry at least believes that that was part of the story. If he is going to offer more concrete details of that, then I think that could be a problem for the British royal family. Obviously, we are in a time when the overall history of that institution, the overall history of British colonialism, is being looked at in a very different way. And so you have this intersection of these huge historical issues with things that are very contemporary and driven by celebrity culture, like the Harry and Meghan Netflix documentary. All right, Niall Stanage, appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.